What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Trey. Um, come to a realization. And that realization is that the majority, not all, the majority of non-Nintendo developed games are trendy. They're a flash in the pan, so to speak. And it kind of, it kind of sucks. Like, and if you don't know what I mean, what I mean is that if you go back and play a lot of games from older gens, like on the PS1 and, and stuff like that, they don't hold up very well. Like, at all. Like, some, a lot of them, actually, most of them are borderline, if you play them now in 2011, borderline unplayable. Right? But at the same token, if you go back and play pretty much any uh, Nintendo developed game on any older system they hold up extremely well and not only do they hold up well sometimes they're better than you remember them being and that that's crazy to me but I guess that's what separates Nintendo from the rest of the industry they make timeless gameplay like the gameplay is timeless like you see people they try to copy Nintendo and they fall flat on their face because they just don't have it I guess you know but like for example if you go back and um like even 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 series you can tell you can see this happening with every gen it'll be a franchise on on the other systems or whatever that will be huge huge just take over then the following gen they come out with a new one everybody's like hey so for example tomb raider tomb raider was huge on the playstation one when it got to the ps2 eh, not so much they reimagined tomb raider at least what like three times in one gen that's crazy. And then this gen, they're doing it again. They're reimagining it again because people got tired of it. They didn't even make that many Tomb Raider, that many Tomb Raider games. And people got tired of it. Then you even have, let's see, Grand Theft Auto. Now, Grand Theft Auto still did good sales-wise this gen. But you're seeing people uh, bashing it and getting tired of it. And oh, been there, done that, right? Last gen, Grand Theft Auto was untouchable. Nobody was bashing Grand Theft Auto at all. It was like sacrilege. It was like bashing Zelda. Like, nobody was bashing Grand Theft Auto last gen. This gen, everybody's like, oh, yeah, this game sucks. It's all about Saints Row, which is a horrible game compared to Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, Saints Row just caused to get out of here with that. But anyway, uh... Yeah, so you can see it slowly. People are, the no matter how big the franchises are, the past gen, the next gen, they don't, I guess, stand the test of time. Like, I still thought Grand Theft Auto 4 was good. I don't know. Yeah, but there's a lot of people out there that don't like it. And I see the same thing going. The same thing, this is a prediction. The same thing's going to happen with Call of Duty. Next gen. Call of Duty is going to, let's put it this way. Next gen, even though I love Call of Duty, it's like my most played game this entire gen. I'm telling you guys right now. Next gen, Call of Duty is going to be the next Medal of Honor. Call of Duty, next gen, is not going to be what it is this gen. Not even close. Now, you are, and you already see the wheels turning there. IPs. New IP from Bungie that's coming out, and a new IP from the real Infinity War that's at uh, EA now. So, yeah, Call of Duty. Call of Duty's on its last legs. Sorry to say, because I love me some duty. But yeah, it's on its last legs. What else though? Yeah, like it's just Nintendo. The reason why Nintendo's able to come out with the same franchises all the time is because they have timeless gameplay and they always switch it up.
Mario games are pretty much Mario games outside of Super Mario 2 in Japan lost levels or whatever all Mario games play completely different from each other okay I mean even like I mean I guess Galaxy 2 plays a lot like Galaxy 1 but there's still it's still different enough to warrant a purchase let's put it that way they didn't just improve the graphics and call it a day you know what I'm saying but that seems to be what a lot of the non Nintendo developers do and that doesn't work I mean it works for a while but after that it doesn't it's like what the Nintendo has been saying this since the revolution days you can keep copying something and adding on and adding on, but as soon as if, if you don't disrupt the market, if you don't change it up, it doesn't work. It works for a while, but in the long run, it doesn't work. And Nintendo's they've been proving this. But I guess the developers they need to spend more time in the actual gameplay mechanics and stuff like that than the visuals and sound and all that stuff. I mean, I like that stuff too. But that's not, in the end, that's not what's most important. And that's why the games are trendy. Nobody cares. There's a few exceptions, you know, like Metal Gear and, and stuff like that. But, like, even Uncharted. Uncharted is an amazing game to me. But next gen, I don't think nobody's really going to care about Uncharted. The same. Like, Uncharted, to me, is gonna be kind of like Tomb Raider now I thought the Tomb Raider games were overrated I didn't think those were that good Uncharted is real good but I still see the same fate for Uncharted there's gonna be the new hotness next gen because there's always a new hotness but see the people say Nintendo oh Nintendo doesn't have new IPs there's no new IP. Nintendo doesn't need new IPs they got like a hundred of them there's plenty of games they haven't even made for the Wii yet. They don't need IPs. They actually have real first party stuff. They don't have to go buy other companies and then call it first party like the other systems do. But that's another video. Anyway, uh, yeah, this rant's gone on long enough, but I know a lot of people are going to agree or disagree. So let me know in the comments. Uh, if you agree with me, of course, don't forget to thumbs up um yeah so this is dr trey repping in dub nation peace out